we kind of had a slow start to the morning. We're still at the condo, but we're about to head out. We're gonna go to Kula and go to the lavender farm. There's a lot of different farms there. Like there's coffee farms and lavender obviously, and then there's just farms with produce. It's all organic. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head out. And then probably this afternoon, we're gonna come back and go swimming. It's not as sunny today and not as hot. It's a little bit cloudy, but hopefully this afternoon it'll get sunnier. It's still gorgeous. We're gonna head on out now. Here's the view this morning. Beautiful, beautiful. Time to go into the lavender farm. share with you some of the things that I purchased at the lavender farm so this first item is the organic lavender body butter and oh this is so nice I've used it only a few times as you can tell I think it's really just because I wanted to save it up and I don't want to like waste it but it's so nice and it really makes your hands super soft it's super buttery and it's perfect right now because I mean I've been washing my hands so much and my eczema has been like going insane. So the second thing that I purchased is this dry lavender. And honestly, I wasn't gonna purchase this. Um, my daughter really wanted it, so I have it in her closet. But every so often I just kind of sneak in there and take a good whiff and oh, it smells so good. But I actually really love the smell of lavender to begin with, but it just transports me back to that hillside with the fog rolling in and the ocean and frolicking in the lavender fields. It's so nice. All right, back to the vlog. Lavender scone with some lavender lemonade and lavender coffee. Lavender honey, lavender lily corn chili. It's really good. Lavender honey. Lavender passion fruit jelly. Okay, I just have to say on camera that I am no longer a porta potty virgin. <laughs> That's gross. I am interrupting this vlog to let you know that I'm currently editing the vlog that you guys are watching. And I'm, I was debating whether or not to leave that part in. I'm actually kind of embarrassed, but it is the truth. I've actually never been inside a porta potty until that very moment in my life. And I know you might find it kind of strange, kind of weird, but um, let's just say I have an extreme fear of being inside a hot plastic box with someone else's <laughs> Yeah, I had no idea what it looked like inside a porta potty until then, but now I'm enlightened. Look at the lavender! Lavender, blue dilly, hey, look at it. lavender, oh. green. What is in there? I saw a wizard. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a honeybee. Yeah. These look like feathers. What is this? It's so interesting looking. What is that? Oh, these are my favorite flowers. And these are sunflowers. I want to see what they're inside. It looks like they might be taller than you. That looks like corn. Or like a scrubby brush. Different species of lavender. Spanish lavender. Fields and fields of lavender. Tip 
Africa is uh, it's where most of your quality beans come from. This is what they've had in Kona for 150 years. I got these from seed in uh, 1989. So you see the two halves? Mm -hmm. See the two halves? Yeah. So there's two halves in, in every one. It has a like a sugar, sugary substance on it. Mm. So after it runs through the pulping machine, I soak it in vats of water. Can I hold one oh, on my yeah. hand? Hmm. There you go. Oops. It is sweet. There you go. Wow. So sometimes when when I'm working in the field, I just pop a couple in my mouth and just suck on it. It's kind of sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if there's no no Cook caffeine. Cook it. Bacteria yeah. Or like Does it have that. no have caffeine? It it. What does it taste like? It kind of has like this sugary mm -hmm. taste. Thank you so much for letting us taste this wonderful right coffee. Cheers! Wow, look at these avocados. Lots of guacamole. Lots and lots of guacamole. Yellow ginger. Yeah, they actually make lays. It takes a lot of flowers to make a lay. Hello everyone! So we just got back from the lavender farm and also we did a little cool tour of like a very small local coffee farm. They don't really provide tours yet, but they were so kind enough to actually let us into their house and try some of their really delicious coffee and kind of learn the whole process of how to grow coffee, tree, get the beans and roast them and all that. And now we're just gonna have some lunch. It's very late, it's like already four o'clock, but we're gonna have a small light lunch. Head to the pool because today- The sea is angry, my friend. Yeah, it is very choppy out there. It is windy and, but now it's all of a sudden really sunny. So I think going to the pool would be perfect. But right now the waves are just way too big. It's very dangerous to swim there, especially with a small child. Anyways, so that's what we're gonna do. And tonight we're gonna head to Mama's Fish House, which is, I would say the most well-known restaurant on Maui. Like if you come to Maui, you have to go to Mama's Fish House and we're really excited. It's right before the road to Hana and it's really awesome. And we're gonna have a really delicious dinner there. It is kind of a late reservation. So we're gonna try to eat a little bit, save up some energy so we don't get too tired. But anyways, that's it. So it's just pool time after lunch. We're at Mama's Fish House. So beautiful. Here's the restaurant. Let's just going through there. This is actually the third time I've been to Mama's Fish House. Definitely, I recommend it if you're here in Maui for the first time. It's definitely a place that you should go to. Really beautiful. The food is really delicious. Fresh fish caught daily. Time to go in. These flowers are so pretty. Too full and 
tired for dessert. Did you enjoy your meal? Yes, I did. <laughs> Sleepy. Time for bed. It's really late reservation today, so you can't see the ocean, but it's out there, you can hear it. If you come for an early dinner or lunch, you definitely have a wonderful view. Ocean is out there. Listen to the waves. <laughs> 